Wisconsin on them turkeys. Snow is finally starting to melt. Temps are starting to rise, so we've got some birds gobbling. Nothing super close yet, uh, which was good for this morning because when we walked in, it was like walking on eggshells, cracking under our feet with that. Uh, we had a big thaw yesterday and it froze last night. Hopefully today will warm up and get rid of that. And, uh, because of that, we're back up on a small food plot off of a big cornfield that uh, hopefully these birds are going to go in and try to feed and pick what's out of there with what snow is there and get them down here where this field is green as it warms up today. So we're going to kind of hang out here and see if we can't get one of these birds to start answering us. Come in and see these decoys because it's an early season and it's a dominant phase. We've got a half strut jake out with a lone hen. Hopefully these two and three year old birds will see that jake in there and uh, come and try to kick him out and get a little uh, dominant over the whole fact that he's with one of the hens. So we're just going to kind of hang out here and uh, start calling on and off and see if we can't get one of these birds to answer us and come in and check our decoys out.
bird's gobbling way off. This bird, I don't know where he came from. I heard him gobble. I waited for a little bit and waited. <coughs> Excuse me. All of a sudden I looked and I saw him come and he hung up for a little bit. Did some sweet purrs. And that bird just, uh, just like I hoped, you know, he saw that half strut Jake and he did not like him at all. Never gobbled once he committed, but he came in and shot him here. He went down instantly. He just got up and he went about another, I don't know, 10 yards maybe. And he uh, he went down up there, but so we're going to give him just a second with a bow shot kill. And then I'm going to go out and check this bird out. But he looked like a pretty good bird when he came in. And we're done. I have an NWTF banquet tonight that I'm running. So I'm glad this worked out bright and early this morning. I tell you what, I am sitting in my elevated deer blind because we had so much snow. So I got my 360 ground blind this morning and uh, put the decoys on the high side so that I wouldn't have an angle down shot. And man, it worked out slick. He come in, didn't even, didn't pay attention to anything. That was awesome. I mean, it, everything worked out. We got her done. Yes. Pretty bird, big bird. A really nice fan on him. Real thick beard. Spurs broke off on one side. Like a nice three year old bird. That other spur, this spurs broke. Snapped off and but uh man what a classic. Absolute me uh Old uh, Spitfire Double Cross, the new Easton FMJs, nice combination. And, uh, this um, just a classic this morning, classic hunt. Hey, uh, I said they were gobbling. We didn't have anything close. I was a little nervous. Thought, man, it could be a long morning. And this bird gobbled alone all by himself. And uh, next thing I knew was. He finally committed. He came in. He didn't like my decoy setup with that Jake and that hen. And he came in and got right up against that Jake. And uh, he was trying to push him around a little bit, strutting. And he gave me the shot. And he went down right away. And then he, uh, a b classic bow kill. He got up and uh, walked here probably all oh, eight, ten yards after I shot him. And he uh, expired right here. So just, I can't say. Uh, can't say a whole lot this morning. It was just it was beautiful. Beautiful morning. Two days ago, opening day on Wednesday, we had seven inches of snow, and uh, thankfully it's all melt melt fast. Got up to about 50 yesterday. It's supposed to hit 55 today, but um, I need to take care of this bird. We need to get going because I need to get to a uh, NWTF banquet uh, that I'm running this evening, and um, get things put together. But uh, I get to sleep in tomorrow morning, <laughs> so. Excellent. It was ex absolutely awesome. Beautiful morning. But a few things that really helped us out was, you know, looking at our food plot, knowing that there was some green coming up here with this snow melting, and also the time of season because it was early like this, and these birds were in that dominant phase. Using that half strut Jake and that lone hen really paid off this morning. Look at some of these things. Use some of these tips and tactics and they'll help you own your season.